Hair is painfully, painfully, painfully dirty. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Why are you watching me while I do this? My hair is painfully dirty and my tan is pretty much non-existent. So naturally I thought I should film a video. Today I kind of just wanted to sit down. I want to do a very fresh, spring glam. This whole tutorial is pretty much inspired by this lipstick that I bought. This is the Fenty Beauty lipstick in the shade Unlocked. I have been looking for a very pink springy lipstick. They're kind of hard to find. You guys know how I feel about Fenty Beauty lipsticks. They're like some of my favorites. So this is in the shade Unlocked. This is the focal point of today's makeup look. <laughs> let's just go ahead and get started because I'm just gonna keep on rambling. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So the first thing that we're gonna do is eyes. I always start out with eyes. I feel safe when I start out with my eyes. When I do my base first, I kind of get a little nervous because I'm a messy girl and I'm worried that I'll have fallout all over my face. So I like to start with my eyes. First thing I'm gonna use is this Painterly Paint Pot. Get it together. This is a MAC Paint Pot. It's in the shade Painterly. I use this every time. I'm just gonna take this on a Deluxe Crease Brush by Real Techniques. My skin has been prepped. I have on my morning skincare, which is just, I think it's Innisfree, I use their soybean essence, and then I use the Belief Eye Cream and the Ordinary, I forget, it's like a really long name, Ascorbyl Glucoside Solution 12%, it's their vitamin C. I don't know why, I mean, I know why, that's like their thing, is they're like, we'll tell you exactly what's in here. Like I said, this is my favorite primer, I have very oily eyelids. That works for me because I also have very veiny eyelids and it helps my eyeshadow to stay in place. So I want to do a very soft eye look that's the theme for the look. So I'm going to do a lot of neutrals and I'm going to use this Glam Light palette, Michaela Glam Light palette, because it's pretty. I just like the way that these shades blend together. There's a good range of neutrals. You have a lot of warms and a lot of cools and the willow shade that's in here, this one right here, is like one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. It's such a unique shade. It's like purpley and plummy, but chocolatey and brown, but almost black. It's so pretty. So that's what we're gonna use today. To start off, I'm gonna take this How You Doin' shade right here on this little Morphe M506. I love this brush because it's small, but also like fluffy enough to blend out with. So I'm gonna take How You Doin' and I'm gonna go right in the crease. So I want it to be very soft. The focus, like I said, I want the focus to be the lipstick for today's look. So I'm not going to spend too much time on eyes. And I'm just going to go in again and like connect it to like my outer corner slash lash line. This is definitely like a beginner friendly makeup look. I'm definitely not going to be doing like a full on beat because when I think of spring, I think of very fresh, very classic very clean. If you are scared about doing makeup, this is the tutorial for you. I'm kind of trying to just pull the eye shadow out to give my eye a little bit of a lifted effect because I have very downturned eyes. The next brush that I'm going to use is also by Morphe. It's an M433. This is just a dupe for my Sigma E25. I've had this for so long, the name is like completely rubbed off. But this is another one of my favorite brushes, the Sigma E25 so good you could do an entire look with just the one brush i think i have a video that i'll link where i just use that one brush for the whole eye look but i'm going to take this morphe m433 which is pretty much a dupe for the brush i'm gonna take this harley shade which is just a lighter lighter brown and i'm gonna put this on the edge of where i put that how you do in shade so right here to marry it with my brow bone I like my skin color. So I really want like a nice seamless transition. Morphe has some good brushes. I remember when they first, you know, when everyone was first discovering Morphe, it was, they didn't have like as much and it wasn't, I feel like the quality wasn't the same, but they really have become like way more accessible. I've integrated a lot more Morphe brushes into my like staple brushes. I really only had like a few Sigma brushes because I thought that they were like, I watched so many YouTube videos and those were the brushes that everyone used were Sigma brushes, but there's so many now. There's like Real Techniques, there's Morphe, there's Eco Tools. There's so many. 
and they're all so accessible. I think I'm gonna end the eye look here. Actually, I'm gonna take, the only thing that I wish was in this palette, I wish there was like a bone shade. I'm gonna go grab another palette. I'm gonna take this first shade right here. That's a very like bone color and I'm gonna take it on a flat brush. I like to use a more like fluffy flat brush. Like I said, I want it to be effortless. I want it to be like seamless and I don't want to like stamp on a white shade. And this is from the Morphe Ariel collection. This is an A29 and I'm going to take it and just pat it on. You know, it doesn't really do much, but it just kind of lightens the eye look up. And then what I've been doing recently, just because it helps with my like when I'm applying lashes, I'm going to take this CoverGirl Exhibitionist, just a black liquid eyeliner, and I'm just gonna do a thin line. Well, I'm gonna try to do a thin line. We all know how that goes. I love in the spring when I can hear like the birds in the morning. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm in the forest or like in, like I don't even know, in the jungle or something. It just makes me feel like I'm not in the suburbs of New Jersey and instead I'm somewhere like way more fun. <laughs> they actually look, <laughs> They actually look good. I'm gonna eventually tight line with eyeliner pencil in my waterline later. Now I wanna move to skin and I wanna use the new primer. This is a primer that everyone has been talking about all over every single social media app. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I have been waiting to get my hands on this and I could not find it freaking anywhere. So I'm so excited to try it out. It has a nice little pump and I'm just gonna put it very oh it feels interesting it feels like sticky it's making me a little shiny which i'm kind of concerned about i didn't even read the directions pat into skin okay good that's usually what i do i don't really like to like rub things in because i feel like i just take the product off with my hands so like what's the point <laughs> for foundation like i said i want an effortless look i want my skin to look like it. there's no imperfections i just came out the womb with beautiful skin my favorite foundation to use when i want to feel like that is this dior backstage foundation i love this foundation it makes my skin look beautiful photographs really beautifully wears really beautifully it doesn't make me super oily what i like to do with my foundations is i like to have one for when i'm at my most tan since I self tan and then one for when I'm at my most pale <laughs> but I like to just have both because I can mix for whatever stage of self tan that I'm in like as you guys can see I have like like remnants of self tan so I'm trying to cover all that up today <laughs> this is just the Real Techniques Expert face brush and I'm just gonna buffer in just to cover all that up <laughs> I'm really trying to press this into the skin Okay, so the primer is actually, it looks good. So the concealer that I'm going to use is nothing new. I use this all the time. This is the Lancome Taunt Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I am a little worried that it's going to be too dark because my foundation is a lot lighter than it normally is. I have this Rare Beauty. I don't know what this is called. It's the Rare Beauty Concealer. And this is in the shade 170W. It's a lot lighter than this. So in case I have to lighten it up, I have this one right here. And it looks... <laughs> it's a little dark. It kind of just looks like the same color as my skin tone, which is okay, but to brighten up, I'm definitely going to take that Rare Beauty one. Just because I feel like my face doesn't have any dimension right now. I don't use this one as much because I feel like the coverage... For me, it's, it's not enough, but I like to have it for situations like this. As you can see, a little goes a long way, and I forgot that. <laughs> oh my god, I put way too much on. I literally put like a little dot. I think I usually use this with a sponge, so it picks up a lot more product. So that's probably why I'm taken aback, because I'm using my fingers. <laughs> I have a few more cream items that I want to use. A contour, a cream contour, and then a cream blush. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Amber. Super cool toned. If you are a fair skinned girly or guy, I definitely recommend this. This is a nice, like it's a very cool toned contour so it, it's not gonna look just like you have a stripe of bronzer on your face. And I found that going like this with the brush and then applying it has been the best way for me to do it. And I'm not going for like a snatched face right now. I just kind of want to give myself a nice soft contour. Like I said, this is a very soft makeup tutorial. I have this cream blush. This is a Glossier blush. Cloud paint 
has what it's called, a seamless cheek color. This is in the shade Beam. It's very peachy, and I'm gonna put it back here. Just watch it sink into the skin. And I'm bringing it up above my brow bone just to kind of lift my face. Now that I have all of my creams down, I'm gonna go in with powder. This is the one size powder. I use this all the time. Really good, really makes you look airbrushed. And I'm gonna take it on my little e.l.f. small tapered brush everywhere that I put the concealer pretty much. Love how all these products are working really well together. And I'm loving that Power Grip Primer. The only problem area is right here, but I always have a problem area right there. Like always just looks like massive pores and sadness. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing and then do some powder blush. I don't know which bronzer I'm gonna use because all of mine are pretty dark. Let me go take a look. <laughs> Let me see what I have. Okay, so the one I'm gonna use today is actually a great dupe for the Fenty Sunstalker bronzer. This is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. This is in the shade Sun Bronze. There's like flecks of shimmers in here, but when I put it on, it's not like shimmery because I don't do shimmery bronzers or blushes. So I'm gonna take it on this Morphe M530. I'm not going overboard with this. Like I said, I just want like a little, I just want dimension basically. So for blush, I'm gonna take this Blush Burst Palette by Roxy and Makeup Revolution. And I'm gonna take this one right here very lightly on this angle brush. This is a large angled contour F40 Sigma brush and just right on top of where I put that cream blush I'm going to take this one and I'm just patting it in. I'm not like swiping it on. Next step is just my eyebrows and my lower lash line. So I'm gonna do the lower lash line first. I'm going to go into that Michaela palette again, the Michaela Glam Light palette, and I'm going to take the How You Doing shade, that first one that we used, and I'm gonna take it on like this short little brush and I'm gonna kinda like pack it underneath. Not all the way in. far. This is the Morphe M433 again, and I'm going to take Harley, which is the second shade we used, and I'm just going to diffuse. This is the mascara I used before. It's just the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour. I like this for lower lashes, mostly because it really lengthens and separates them. The next step is my brows and my false lashes, and I'm actually going to go do that off camera and then once I come back we can finish up this look with the lips which is the main part of this tutorial so I will see you guys in just a second okay so the lashes that I used it's no surprise these are molten lashes these are in the style firecracker these are a new style that they came out with I've been loving the way that they look so the T is this lipstick that I that I want to use. I don't have a lip liner for it. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of try to use the lipstick as a lip liner and I'm gonna use like a very precise brush like this. I'm actually like put some on my mixing pan so I can pick it up from there. You guys do not have to do this. I just, I like to go in with a pencil beforehand just because it helps give me a little guide. It helps to have like a line that I can color inside of. This is such a gorgeous lipstick. I love how pink this is. I love that it's not like a red pink. It's a very true pink. And to me, it just screams spring. It's very florally. Rihanna did it again. So my final step, as always in all of my tutorials, is just to bring back my birthmark. So I'm going to go ahead and take my one size pencil in the shade Point Made. I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely will be rocking this frequently during spring. I love this lip. I love how everything just turned out. The skin looks great. If you guys have stayed this long, thank you so, so much. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the little bell so you guys won't miss a video from me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.